So hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing how a patient of iron deficiency anemia would present in the clinic and also how would you reach out the diagnosis. Simultaneously we will try to brush up our knowledge, we will talk about the basic, the relevant questions that the examiner might ask from you in the viva. So let's begin. The simplest of all the questions, what is anemia? Anemia, is it absence of blood? No. Anemia may be defined as reduced hemoglobin less than 12 gram per deciliter or reduced RBC count less than 4 million per microliters or reduction in the total RBC mass. From physiological point of view, it is reduction in the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. And for adults male, Anemia means hemoglobin less than 13 gram per deciliter. That's the cutoff value for male. For females, cutoff value is 11.5 gram per deciliter. So any female with hemoglobin less than 11.5 gram per deciliter is labeled as anemic. Now we proceed to the symptoms of anemia. The patient will come and say that I get fatigued very easily. I have one or two fainting episodes. I experienced breathlessness. I had palpitation. So why? The person is easily fatigued. Normally when the person is at rest, the partial pressure of oxygen will be normal and there will be no hypoxic symptoms at rest. But when the person is exercising, maybe there is muscle hypoxia. The muscles are not getting enough amount of oxygen, so the patient will be easily fatigued. The brain is not getting enough oxygen, so the person may faint. And the dyspnea and palpitation, they are the compensatory mechanisms because the respiratory rate will increase in order to increase the oxygen carrying capacity to the various tissues and the person's respiratory center will be stimulated. Hypoxia stimulates the hyperventilation due to which the respiratory center is stimulated and dyspnea is produced. Palpitation that is because of increase in the cardiac output. The person will feel as if the heart is throbbing in the chest. And even this increase in cardiac output can produce abnormal heart sounds that are called as murmurs. Now we proceed to the sign of anemia. What would you look for? We'll examine the tongue of the patient and the nails plus the angle of the mouth. The tongue will be red, it is inflamed, it is swollen. This is known as glossitis, inflammation of the tongue. Koilonchia means the spoon-shaped concave nails. Angulochiliitis means the corners, the angle of the mouth, there is some rupture or breaching, breaking of the angle of the mouth and microorganisms can proliferate there and infection can occur. Now what's plumber winson syndrome? plumber winson syndrome means iron deficiency anemia plus dysphagia. So why does the patient have dysphagia? Because maybe some membranous web is present at the post area of the esophagus and so when he swallows the food he has dysphagia. So both iron deficiency anemia and this one is uh, plus dysphagia will be plumber winson syndrome, right? So now how do you classify the anemia? One is the etiological classification that is depending upon the cause why there is anemia. Another one is the morphological classification that means you will see at the shape and size of the RBC, right? So if you look at the etiology, the anemia can be classified as deficiency anemia. That means it may be deficiency of iron, iron deficiency. It may be deficiency of vitamin B12 or deficiency of folate. Or it may be hemolytic anemia that means increased RBC destruction because of some intravascular or extravascular defects in the membrane. Or maybe acute or chronic blood loss that's hemorrhagic, any GIT, uterine, any blood loss. Or hemodilution or pregnancy. Now this one is tricky because in pregnancy we don't have anemia but actually there is relatively when you see the blood volume is too much and the RBC count will remain the same. So it appears that the RBC count is less. So this is hemodilution of pregnancy. Morphological, normocytic means same size as the RBC. Okay, Microcytic means smaller and macrocytic means more than normal. So this is the classification. Now we'll proceed to the case scenario, case 1. Emira is an apparently healthy 24-year-old female. She complained of shortness of breath, easy fatigability and low levels of energy. All 
pointing towards anemia. Today, while playing in a basketball tournament, she felt giddy, lightheaded, and faced problem in breathing. She was taken to the hospital. So the physician examined and recorded the vitals. Temperature this much, heart rate, respiratory rate, elevated, blood pressure low. And the sample was taken and the lab investigations were done. Hemoglobin was 8.5, hematocrit this much, RBC count this much, RBC smear showed microcytic hypochromic picture, red count this much. So now the questions for you, what is your diagnosis? And number two, which clinical sign and laboratory value or values show that her body is trying to compensate for the same? So now you see the physician recorded vital temperature 98 that is normal. This is elevated, this is compensatory. You already know increase in cardiac output and increase in respiratory rate is a compensation in anemia. Hypoxia stimulates hyperventilation. Now hemoglobin value 8.5, definitely less normal is 12 to 15. Hematocrit 28, definitely less normal is 35 to 45 percent. We know that when you take the blood the whole blood in a test tube and you centrifuge it at 3000 rpm for about 30 minutes the rbcs will settle at the bottom they have as the highest density and that will be 45 percent and above 55 percent will be plasma and in between the two there will be a buffy layer white coat and that will be white blood cells and the platelets okay so hematocrit is the packed uh, rbcs that is 35 to 45 here it is 28 percent that's less rbc count is also less normal is this much RBC smear, microcytic, hyperchromic, MCV is reduced, MCH is reduced. So this one, this picture is MCV reduced, MCHC reduces, iron deficiency anemia. Reti count is 1%, normal is 0 0.5 to 2.5%. So what is your diagnosis? It's iron deficiency anemia. And what clinical signs and lab value show the body is attempting? The heart rate is elevated, respiratory rate is elevated. So the body is trying to compensate for the same. Okay. Now the case number two, a 52 year old man, there we had a young girl and now here we have a 52 year old man. A young girl is more likely to suffer from iron deficiency anemia because maybe during menses she is having a more amount of blood loss, normally is 80 ml, maybe she is having more blood loss or maybe she is on a diet and she's not eating properly so dietary deficiency of iron is there, okay. Or maybe she has anorexia nervosa, whatever she eats, she just vomits it out. She is, she has a fear of gaining weight. So anything can be the cause of iron deficiency anemia. Maybe more likely it is dietary induced. So in that case, you can give iron supplementation therapy. Here, a 52-year-old man. Now, what is the problem with 52-year-old man? He is also complaining of fatigue and shortness of breath and climbing the stairs. And it is worsening over the last month. He's a smoker. He's a drinker. And he has been taking aspirin. Aspirin, you know, is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug for the last six months for frequent stomach ache. And the patient has reduced calorie intake for the past three months to support his weight loss mission. Okay, so dietary deficiency, this one is pointing towards the dietary deficiency of iron. And aspirin can cause the gastric mucosa barrier can be breached and dropped. Uh, GI bleeding can be there. So hemorrhage is also there. So the cause can be dietary deficiency. The cause can be this uh, GI bleeding also. And plus, he's being smoker and alcoholic drinker that contributes to the GIT bleeding. Okay, So, RBC is mere microcytic hyperchromic, so that points towards the anemia. Now, what are the questions for you? What is your diagnosis? What is the treatment? So, this picture is iron deficiency anemia. Hematocrit is 24%. Normal, we know. Serum iron value is 26. Normal is this much. So, see, serum iron is very less. Transfer saturation, less. Serum ferritin, less. Okay. Normal is more than 15 to about 160. Stool test, you can see occult blood. That means blood can be seen with naked eye. So this is GI bleeding induced uh, iron deficiency anemia. Treatment will be you'll give iron supplements. Iron sulfate is given. And you'll monitor the hemoglobin values every two to three weeks. Okay. Now let us try a few simple MCQs. Anemia. What is anemia? Okay. Deficiency of blood plasma. Very easy. Erythrocytes. Okay, platelets, okay, hemoglobin or both RBCs and hemoglobin, definitely both B and D. So that is erythrocytes and hemoglobin. Okay, all of the following are causes of iron deficiency anemia except worm infestation, carcinoma colon, 
chronic renal failure and pregnancy. Worm infestation definitely is iron deficiency anemia that is seen in children. Carcinoma colon causes iron deficiency anemia. Yes, a lot of uh, GI bleeding is there. That's why. Chronic renal failure presents with normocytic normochromic type. Pregnancy, we know that more demand of the iron is there. So that's why in pregnancy, iron deficiency anemia. So chronic renal failure is the cause. This has normocytic and uh, normochromic type of anemia. The best marker for iron deficiency anemia that is serum iron, serum ferritin, total iron binding capacity, transferrin. It's serum ferritin. B is the correct answer. Serum ferritin is the best. Even though we can do all the investigations, serum ferritin is the best. Not a feature of iron deficiency anemia. Microcytosis. Definitely it is a feature. MCHC less than 50. Normal is 33. So this is hypochromia. It is a feature. Hypersegmented neutrophil, it's not a feature, it is a feature of megaloblastic anemia, increase in TIBC, that's okay. So C is the answer, hypersegmented neutrophil is not a feature of iron deficiency anemia. A patient with anemia has MCV 60, that is reduced, 88 to 96 is normal. So this is uh, MCV, is this is microcyte, hemoglobin less, okay, anemia, MCHC 22, less than 33. So this is also hyperchromia, microcyte hyperchromia. What is most likely cause of anemia? Iron deficiency or it can be thalassemia or it can be sideroblastic anemia. It can be anemia of chronic disease, but mostly it is iron deficiency because in developing countries that is the most important cause. Vitamin B12 deficiency? No. Folic acid deficiency? No. Hookworm infestation? Yes, that causes iron deficiency. Hemolysis? So the answer is C, hookworm infestation. Okay. So thank you very much. Hope this video was useful to you.